Hello guys, this is Ayun Kulebe. Welcome to another episode of my tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to produce or how to make smoke in Maya. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get on to business. First thing you need to do when you have your Maya open is go to this place. Initially, or in default, you have modeling. So just go to FX and start. So um, another thing you do, you can go to um, Fluid. Then 3D container, I just create that. Not to waste time, we have two or three things we can adjust here. The first thing is the base resolution, and the second thing is the emitter. This is the emitter, this is the base resolution, and um, this is our box emitter. So, what we'll do is actually just select our box emitter, then um, come down to the size here under the fluid shape one. We can see the sizing. So, I'm just gonna go to um, 25, go to 25 for this. Um, for this, we'll go to 15. Um, for the other one, to 15, meaning X um, and Z, they will be fixed 15, and um, the 25, um, the Y axis, which is the vertical axis, it's gonna be um, 25. So um, that's first. The second thing is the base resolution. As you can see, this is scattered. It's scattered actually. It's it's not. Um, the, the resolution is very low so that is because we have 10 here if you can increase this to maybe 30 for now we can actually change it later on so and we can just render like that so just know that if you want to have a very high realism or, or, or of the uh, emit emitting or of the emitter so what you just do is increase the basic resolution to any amount you like depending on the capacity of your system that is that on the base resolution so another thing i can do is select the emitter here then um, move it down bring it down to the base here and i can select the whole thing here bring it up to my um ground level so i think i i love what i'm seeing now so that is it for that so we can now start our uh, other process now so to, to, to actually um go on on this uh, i can select this thing too and then come to um the density under the fluid attributes you can see density for example per second so um the density per voxel per second this is the amount of fluid produced that that will be produced by the emitter so to have um higher you know um big smoke you can increase it to maybe 2.5 or 3.5 if it's too much you can um reduce it if it's not enough we can increase it so let's have that one for now and you know the function of that so uh, i will just select the box again then um there are some things we need to you know just change here the first thing is going to the contents um let's see the contents method from the contents method we have density we have velocity we have temperature the temperature is at zero so um let's use dynamic grid um we'll go to content details this is where we set lots of things about this so um on that density let's look at density we have um density scale we have buoyancy we have dissipation and um, what we just play with here is the buoyancy to be um probably 1.7 as the buoyancy um for dissipation let's go to 1.0.1 yeah so let's see yeah that's fine well, it's the thing is just coming up i don't like that i want it to to be um random the, the flow of the smoke to be random so that's still some things we need to do to that so we can come down to velocity we can change the swine to um something like the let's go um just leave it there and the, the noise is so that it won't become straight up like this so um, let's increase the noise to 0 0.3 whatever so I'll go to the turbulence the turbulence let's increase the strength to hopefully it won't be too much so um, the frequency let's Let's leave the frequency like that. The speed, let's leave it that, that, like that. So, um, if I play this thing back, let's see. Yeah, you can see um, the, the, the turbulence is too much. The turbulence actually is more like the, 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 the wind, like we're projecting the wind 
um, against the the smoke so let's reduce the turbulence I think the strength is too much we can go to something like 0 0.2 let's go to 0 0.2 so let's um, go back then we play yes okay um this is taking time so let me increase it to 200 and play it again okay um i can see that the noise is too much let's reduce the noise and the swine beats so let's see again okay that's reasonable yes that's reasonable so um that's all for that so the next thing we can do now is um going to um can go to texture under texture um the texture color texture in and um, texture opacity let's check all that and that is where we have our natural um you know our natural shading mode so which is going to be more like a fire or something so let's render and see so that is what we have now so if you're looking for fire you can actually leave it that way um, and let it flow like that so it's going to make sense that way so the only thing you need to do is just increase the um the density and um yes the density and the speed of um the release of this thing so that it flows like uh, more like um, a fire so um i would just change all this so uh, um this actually um we can change this to white change that to white put down you can see we have our white already so this white now um the white again let's select that and take it to gray something like that so you can see that though we still have issue with the quality but let's show let's flow with that so that we don't you know encounter issues with um the rendering later on so i think that is it with that so that is it so um if um what you're doing is more like um an animation you can have your gaze and you can actually hold on come in yeah this um let's have the rendering okay yeah let's say what you're doing is um a video animation is like animation so what you can do is go to your um end catch and um create new catch you get so create new catch and um Maya fluid. So yes, I can replace the existing because I had one before. So, so whenever you are um, replaying back, it just pick them up from the catch. So it won't take much time to, you know, render again. So you can actually still uh, increase the, the base resolution, but I'm actually just leaving it that way because of my system capacity and all. I don't want to, you know, waste time with that. So. Um, that is it. Yeah. So you see now it's just play like that without wasting time and all. So that is how to make smoke in Maya 2018. It is very, very, very extremely easy. So um I can change this back um to what we had before. I think this is what we had. No, that wasn't it. This is it so that we can have something like a fire or something so i'm just playing around actually right now good so uh, that is how to go about you know making smoke in maya thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope it's it's it was comprehensive and you you were able to learn one or two things so um we'll be meeting again in peace not in pieces thank you guys peace out